How's it guys? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Cam from Cam's Cobble. Welcome back to another daily Chelsea transfer news video. And today, I'm going to be talking about two more signings Chelsea have made. Frankie de Jong, Mark Cucurella, all things Chelsea. So without further ado, if you're new it and support Chelsea and want to know all things Chelsea, subscribe, turn the notification bell, and comment, all that jazz. But without further ado, let's get on with the first story. Now, like London buses, Chelsea seem to sign things where nothing happens for a week and then two come at once. Out of yesterday, with Chukwemeka from Aston Villa to sign for Chelsea for £20 million. Now, this is great. What do we know about Chukwemeka? Well, we know Aston Villa obviously rate him highly. We paid £20 million. Now, if you don't know anything about a player, the value kind of shows the intent. He's only 18 and he's bolstered £20 million sale. So, yeah, that's all you need to know. England on the 21 international Played for Villa 18 times in the league, only started two. However, when I watched Chelsea versus Aston Villa at Stamford Bridge at the Carabao Cup, he was the one player, young player I saw come on and actually make a difference. I was like, oh, he's got a bit of tech. Little did I know, almost a year later, he'd be signing for Chelsea. And what's good about this deal also is that it shows a new intent from the ward to focus and prioritise on the youth. Not only that is the story today, is that also Chelsea have confirmed the signing of Selena from Chicago Fire, the goalkeeper, 18-year-old, again, six foot four, massive, going to be the future of Chelsea, along with Amari Hutchinson and more young youth prospects that we are targeting. Chelsea youth is going to be out the window. Now, what's important about these two deals is that I've known, I've seen, scouted around, is that Chukwemeka is actually going to come into the first team when he signs for Chelsea, which is great. I had apprehension, I thought he was going to go out and loan for a season, but hey, we've signed him for £20 million, might as well get the money worth. And this is almost a surefire way to say, Billy Gilmore, get out on loan. Ross Barkley, you're gone. So that's all, all, all great news as well. I like what the board are doing, prioritising youth as well as bolstering the first team. Top Bowley, you've got to cut your hands, you can't say anything more or anything bad about you. Anyway, on to the next story. Now, speaking of bolstering our defence, the Mark Cucurella deal is continuing. Now, this Cucurella deal might have taken a bit of a stumbling block because as of yesterday, the uh, deal looks like it was completed. I mean, £50 million is what they wanted from Man City, which they didn't get, and then we gave them £50 million, so we thought, hey, the deal must be done. However, today's stumbling blocks have come and arisen because Chelsea are not willing to offer them Levi Cowell on a permanent. Brighton want Levi Cowell on a permanent. Chelsea offered him as on loan to kind of barter with the deal. I mean, two days ago, they said they didn't want him part of the deal. However, I think, no, this wouldn't be a good idea. £50 million plus Levi Colwell. Although Colwell's market value right now is only around £20 million, you can't really say that's a fair deal. The whole idea about him is that in the future, he could be worth a lot more. So it's we're losing the money in the future like we would be with Fakir tomorrow, who now on the market will probably be around £60 million. Now, if you want to know more about my views on Cucurella, I made a video about him yesterday, but just to break it down, we need backups. Now, many people are saying, well, we've got Ben Chilwell. Why would we need another £50 million left back? But the thing is, to win leagues, you need depth. And with Chilwell's injury last year, which left us so out of pocket and moved us from first to third, it's really important that we do have depth, like Liverpool with Simakas and Robertson at left back. And that's all I've got to say. Breaking more news from... David Ornstein again, a David Ornstein dagger. I mean, he's reputable, so I can put money where his mouth is. That is very legit. He was talking about Cucurella, but more about Frankie de Jong. Now, Chelsea are going to prioritise Frankie de Jong and make a bid for him. Now, what I know about Frankie de Jong is that Barcelona value him about 80 million to 85 million euros, which is interesting. It's weird to think that Frankie de Jong, a generation of talent, is worth the same as Fofana, but enough about that. That's the Premier League tax for you. Also, more stories about Barcelona's finances have come out today and it's not looking good, bruv. So, I mean, I'm not going to say this is a nailed-on deal because it's only in the um, early stages of the deal. But the thing is, who would want to stay at Barcelona? I get the attraction to join Barcelona, but once you've already been there for a couple of years and you're not getting paid, I don't really see the attraction. But again, I also talked about Frank as a young couple of videos ago, but what is there to say about Frank as a young? He's generational talent insane would bolster our midfield needs really which we've been really lacking again a credible signing if it were to happen 80 million is the touted price would all Chelsea fans agreeably say together that this would be a great deal yes because it's midfield cover and one of the best midfielders in the world so without further ado I'm going to go into more midfield news right now 
So, not, I was reading the news, not only do Juventus want Jorginho again since the, the departure of their midfielder Arthur, but Chelsea also inserted in Syria Inter Milan midfielder Nicolo Barella. Now, much like Jorginho, Barella played with Jorginho in Italy's winning Euro team. As an Englishman, I, all, I know all too well about how good that team was. Now, Barella is Inter's best player and to snatch him would be a great deal. Not only if Jorginho could stay with Barella with that, that connection, but if Jorginho were, were to leave, which again I'll be upset about because he's going to be our club captain, I feel, this year. If he were to leave and Barella come this way, I'd say that's a fair swap, really. But yeah, that's also good. And in more good news, it looks like Malangsa is going to be joining French side AS Monaco over Fulham, which is good, on a loan deal. But hopefully we can get rid of him because he's not Chelsea stand. I didn't say that, you did. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's going to be a jam-packed news day today, tomorrow, this week. So I'm probably going to do a double upload. Subscribe for that. All things Chelsea. So without further ado, I'll see you, well, maybe tomorrow in a couple hours. See you then.